What's up YouTube here we are with a brand new Q&A. I told you guys to ask me some questions um, on Twitter. So if you haven't been following me on Twitter, make sure you guys go look in the description to follow me on Twitter for future Q&As or just to see when I upload in general because I always speed out a video. But without further ado, let's just get right into it because we do have a lot of questions. So could have had them up, but I'm a fucking idiot. Alrighty, so we're going to start off with my boy Carl. If you could only play one fighting game series for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Now, honestly, I've been thinking about this all night, and um, I'm probably going to say Mortal Kombat because, or Mortal Kombat slash Injustice, um, because that's where I started, and you know, that's that's where I started. I guess it's just it means too much, you know, you know what I mean. I think you do. And the next question, also from Carl. Why do you believe you aren't very good at fighting games? Well, it's something called lack of self-confidence. Because I'm a fucking garbage. Stop it. Get some help. Mm, alrighty. My boy Ezid, or Lewis, asks, If you could own any two cars in the world, what would they be and why? Um, one of my dream cars has always been, like, a Tesla. I'm, I, I, it's just too cool not to, like, you know, it's a Tesla. I mean, it's fucking dope. Like, the stuff in this car is just, like, that's the future type of shit. You know what I mean? I've always been really intrigued about, like, new inventions and shit. And my other car, I think I'll probably put a picture of it somewhere. I don't fucking know. Probably, um, a Pagani... Or, or, I, I don't know. I'll put the picture. It's, And then I'll put the name in because it looks badass. I forgot to say that. Alrighty. So, um, the next question comes from the beautiful Kitsune goddess. Look, you're a simp. What made you decide to go into a direction of content creation? Um, honestly, I've always had kind of a passion for, you know, entertaining, I guess, or entertainment. And I, I used to be, I started off in this community as a sniper, kind of went into a designer, into a streamer, and I just got really bored of streaming, so I just kind of went to content creating, because that's, that's what it was, and I, I mean, that's, honestly, it's because I had shit quality, con, uh, equipment. I, I'm recording this on a MacBook Air from 2014, so... PayPal is in the description. Kidding. Don't, don't, don't send me any. Don't. I don't. Alrighty. Um, our next question comes from my brother. I, I, my day one. My mans. And he wants me to fuck, marry, kill Osama Bin Laden. You need Jesus. Gina Akio and Kony. Well, I'm gonna marry Gina Akio because she's fucking hot as shit. And the other two can just all die. They just don't know. I'm sorry. You don't get a fuck. They all just die. My boy. My man. Desperate motherfucking sick. Asks. What interests you about fighting games? Or fighter games? Um. The fact that, like, you can play, basically play as Batman in Justice 2. Punching people and, like, makes you feel like you're the superhero. And when you're playing Injustice. Or a villain, and it just, you know, it brought my childhood, I want to say kind of brought my childhood dreams to true, because I've always loved superheroes, like, I, even as a kid, superheroes were my shit, um, and, and then also you just, like, punch people, I mean, punch people, I would try to kick, but, like, I'm fat, so that wouldn't work, yeah, no, no, I tried it, um, Another hype grinder, totally. If I said that wrong, I'm so sorry. I'm just, yeah. Why do you think you deserve a spot in hype? And what is the reason you're going for hype in another t different team? So, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I deserve a spot. I don't. I want a spot, but I don't think I deserve it. There's so many other people going for this RC. And there's so many other people who are just awesome. And it's, I, I'm... I'm scared for, like, Trenton and Freshies and all of them who have to pick 
because everybody is so fucking talented. And it's just, I would hate to be them because, you know, they can only pick us, they probably can only pick a certain amount of people up. And it's just, you have to choose, you know, it's just, it's hard. And the reason I'm going for hype is because from the outside looking in, it always seemed like a family. And that's what I've always looked into, into an organization um when i wanted to you know join them or be a part of them it's some if it's, it's like it, everybody gets along and everybody supports everybody and there's no judgment i'm with you know the members because i'm non-binary and you know shit some people don't like that shit so i don't know i like uh, this team you know accepts me for who I am accepts my pronouns and all that and I don't see honestly I don't see I mean maybe but like I don't see other teams doing that and like publicly I guess I don't know I could be wrong but for me hype was always that one team that I saw and I'm like I want to be a part of them because they're dope hope that answers your question <sighs> my boy the man's I'm mythical who in the hyper C do you personally think is the spot Who's been working their asses off? Top three. Well, my, the first person that comes to mind that I just that deserves a spot instantly goes down to you, Kenna. This dude, or you, you, like this dude's content is off the charts. This dude is fucking hilarious. This dude is awesome. I'm even if he gets an I don't. I'm gonna be watching him streams probably until he stops because this dude is fucking hilarious. I I I love this dude's content. He's such a nice guy. And he deserves a spot. And who's been working your asses off? Well, I mean... <laughs> you have been, yes. You have definitely but just going in. Like, I'm pretty sure you stayed up, like, 2 a.m. plus. And then have to go to work in the morning to f put out a video. Like, it's, like, that's dope. I, I respect that. But then my top three... My top three are Yuke, Mythical, and I have to say I me, but like if, if I didn't have to choose me, I would probably go with Cloud or Saint or Cloud, Saint, Rhino, um, Jacob, um, Conald, so many, uh, just, just so many people. I, I, I can't, I can't just put it in the top three. There's so many people I want to join. Besides myself, you know what I mean. Like I, it's hard. Like I said earlier, it's it, I can't. I cannot. Exp I just glad I'm not Trenton or Freshies or Trip or Nixie. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Okay. And you know all the leaders at hype. Like I'm. You know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Um, praise the man. Asks. What's your favorite Call of Duty game? MW3, boy. MW3. Um, that was my best game. I was personally on sniping wise and that game will always be in my heart. Um, that's my, yeah, that's about it. The boy Freshies asks, um, date? Oh, you kiki boy. Mm. Um, it is August 5th, 11.34 a.m. When I'm recording this, 2020. <laughs> Eight more days until my birthday. Sheeta asks, Will you ever find her? No. No, I won't. Favorite? All right, you canna, the man, the myth, the legend. You canna, you you canna, canna, you canna, low pop cock. Or what I think that's his name. Yup, yup cock. That that's it. Favorite average C team you've ever played with? I probably have it on the screen. But a little rundown is I made this myself. It was Wimsicott, Mudsdale, Berserker, Maintenance Zone, Amugus, and Centuries. 
Um, no, if you don't, um, you said you had sword and shield, so you should know what I have. But Berserker's for fake out pressure, swagger, um, taunt, and then his for ability for Magnazone and Cinderace. Um, his ability is called Steely Spear, so it powers up steel move. Uh, there, its allies steel move. So a flash cannon from a main zone really hits hard because its special attack is through the roof. It also gets ally switch, which is fucking weird, but I love it. Um, but yeah, and then Whimsicott Mudsdale, that's the two start. Basically, you beat up into the Mudsdale and get the defense up to body press anything that moves. And it, it, it works because body press is all about defense. And by the time the first round, if they target, if they double into the um, Mudsdale, you could be basically plus six. Because, and you also run Prankster. So you could always do Tailwind first, but I always go for a beat up Dynamax Monsdale and basically go up to plus four. And then if they hit me, I'm basically plus six at the end of the first turn with, uh, and then I, all I need to do is get my attack up with um, Max Fighting with uh, or my more, I, they could also actually get de defense up with Max Steel Spike because that's also the thing. And it, it's it's good. I actually have a video on it, I think, believe, on my Pokemon channel if you want to go look at it. But this is the team I wanted to battle you with. Um, it's really, really fun. Um, like I said, I'll have a screen. You can see it. I'll have it on the screen. I'll do, like, a code. So I'll have a sword and shield code for you if you want to use it. And, yeah. So, already, we're getting to our last two questions of the day, of this video. Lovick, did I say that right? I don't know. If three thousand dollars just randomly got into your bank account, what would you do? Honestly, pay off bills. Pay off bills. Get a fucking good ass setup and a new fucking chair because like, I choose the setup. And then just bills and then you know student loans. I need basically anything because yeah, that's that's what needs to happen. Like I need a good setup. I need a new fucking desk and. Probably a new PlayStation 4, get the PlayStation 5, get a computer, all that shit. I would, and I would make this, I wouldn't make this shit like a, what I'm doing now, priority. Like, I want, I want this shit to be a job, so I would go all out. Which is why I invested into this amazing ass intro, this amazing ass revamp, and this amazing ass logo. And I want, I'm trying to actually build the brand. I'm going to use this logo probably for the rest of my career, because this logo is fucking sick, so... That's the one thing you guys got to think about, too, if you guys are just getting into content creating. Like, invest in your brand. That's the one thing I recommend. Invest in your brand, and it will pay off. I, I don't get how many times I people have asked me who made my intro, who made my logo. Because it's fucking sick. Like, I don't know. And then speaking about that, I also have, like, a clothing line. Like, it's in the description. Crucible. I'm some. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I'll do. Send, like, a bunch of this shit to my friends so they can have some dope-ass clothing. Alrighty. We're gonna start off. We're gonna end off on a controversy-ish, controversial question. Now, I'm not sure if I really want to answer this question. Because it's very, very controversial. If you were offered waffles or pancakes, what would you choose? Now, I know what I would choose, but do you? Now, honestly, I'm going to go with chocolate chip pancakes. I love pancakes. Pancakes were my shit. I like waffles, too. Waffles are awesome, but I like chip pancakes more. Like, I... I like pancakes. I want me my pancakes. Alrighty, though, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope... You guys did. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, leave a like. I'm pretty sure I said that. But I don't fucking know. So, we'll see you guys all on the next video. If you guys did enjoy this video, here's another video that is recommended for you. And here is actually a video my that is probably my last upload. So, go check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.